Right, so, welcome back to another Iron Spectates, a series where I dive deep down into the rabbit hole of the lowest depths of the ranked system and see what I can pull out. And you can probably look no further than somebody who's sitting on Iron 4 with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games in that rank. So, let's see how they do! So enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel for more awful shenanigans, give the video a comment and a little like for the algorithm, and I'll see you later. Alright, so, let's get into things. Uh, I think it's did carry Thresh. Both their bot lane here are both Iron 4. But I'm I'm very much struggling to figure out if they are Smurfs, or if they are Int accounts, or what exactly they are here. Based on their previous match history, they, like it seems like they vaguely have a, a general idea of what they're doing. But they have also got 400, 500 games in Iron. I don't know, it's hard to tell, but I feel like with the amount of times that they lose and stuff like that, I'm not convinced that they're Smurfs. Does that make sense? Regardless, this is very close to Iron 4 0 LP bot lane that we have in this, and it's a, a Blitzcrank Thresh, so it's going to be a lot of fun to watch and see what happens. They're just going straight up, red side, just going straight for the invade. But it could be good, because we got a potential cheese situation happening here as well. Unless Misfortune goes the longest route to bot lane that she has ever gone in her entire life. That is the, probably the safest thing I have ever seen in my entire life, dude. <laughs> I'm not going straight mid as well, dude. <laughs> my god. That is... Wow. That is pretty damn safe, I gotta say. Teal versus Darius top lane. Uh, Grasp, Teal. That's kind of uh, psychotic, just a little bit. Uh, Conqueror Warwick, not too, nothing too crazy. Comment on that. Dark Harvest and uh, Hail of Blades on Blitzcrank. Fair dues. I'm not sure about the teleport on uh, Thresh, but like... I'm, I'm convinced that this is going to be a, a chaotic game nonetheless. Electrocute on uh, on Master Yi. Alrighty, dude. TP Nocturne mid as well. Let's go, baby. Looking very much forward to seeing the TP plays, as I'm sure we all are. I struggle to use TP, but I'm sure Iron and Bronze players have got that unlocked. He's, up, he's got absolutely no mana already, though, granted, to be fair. He's absolutely... He's rinsed the mana at level, like, 3. I don't even know what he's using it on, to be honest. Right, hook goes down. Ignite comes out of Nautilus. The hook comes out from Blitzcrank, knocks him up. Thresh, TP into the minion. <laughs> TP into the minion. Uh, right. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, they actually are iron. Maybe they are iron. I'm, I'm convinced. Now, maybe more so. I don't know. One thousand IQ right there, you just can't understand it with your feeble brain. You're not wrong. I, I definitely don't understand it. Maybe you thought you had ignite. Yeah, that's exa that's literally exactly what happened. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter at all. Seconds later, as soon as the hook comes back up. Whiffs it right out, catch out, right onto the Nautilus, smack him, knock him up, kill him, that's him dead. Blitzcrank, very aptly named, quality content. Also, Thresh, aptly named, Goat Desecrator. Like, they use the exact same, well, I don't know, you probably wouldn't have had to use TP, but if they got the kill and it is what it is, then it's not a summoner wasted then, really, is it? If they got the kill somehow by using it. Um, it doesn't mean that the, the, they maybe lose a little bit of pressure and Thresh has to go back and walk back to lane, etc, etc, but th th nevertheless, dude, the flash as well, flash straight into Ku and a minion, let's go. I can already tell that this lane is going to be complete and utter chaos, like, why are you walking up like that? <laughs> why would you do that, dude? You've got, how much HP she got? She's got 300 HP, she pulls up right into a minion wave with a, a Thresh Blitzcrank. As if, did I don't have it? I have no idea. But we do have a fight in uh, top side river. Electrocute. There we go. Good job. Good job, Master Yi. Got the electrocute down. As is tradition with with uh, Master Yi. Right, he gets feared. Darius moving down as well though. No pr no no movement from mid lane at all. Apprehend completely misses onto the Warwick though, but he's gonna ghost for it. Nimbus coat comes down. Oh wait, actually sorry, he flashed with a Nimbus coat. It wasn't ghost. That's my bad. It was flashed with a Nimbus. Um, Timo wasn't able to move there, Fagar or, you know, not turn probably not remotely interested. However, Botling gets another death, dude. I don't get it. 
I don't get why she keeps on pushing it up this hard. We still got the flay auto attack from Thresh coming down as well there for the big damage. They went that entire fight without having to use it. She she has some time to think about what she's done. And honestly, dude, like, so here's the thing. Like, looking at this, you might think that maybe they're smurfs or something like that. Now, obviously, Thresh uh, TP to a minion in the middle of a, a skirmish. But, like, I, I, I'm not sure if that's necessarily it. Well, I mean, they, de they demonstrated a level of sentience there that, like, I mean, they were looking to try and hook from try all the way back to, to here, which is kind of wild. Not that they would have had any mana for it, regardless. But, like, I feel like this is maybe, this is maybe a case of, like, red side. I talk about it a lot. Maybe this is a case of red side losing as opposed to blue side winning. I'm pretty convinced, like... Like, look at what they're doing! Like, this is red side losing? <laughs> like, they, like, they, they, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what's happening going through the brain of, of Nautilus or Misfortune there. Clean dive though, for sure, clean dive. Mm. Oh, wait, hold on, actually. This fight isn't going as well as I thought it was going to go. Maybe a pickup for Misfortune? Uh, maybe she's dead, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, Nautilus is 100% dead. Okay, yeah, never mind. But, no, oh, what are you doing? Stop what you're doing. <laughs> Let's go. What the hell, Misfortune? Why? She did not have heal for that entire fight. But she's, like, running away. She's out. She's safe. Nautilus dies for the cause. And then she's like, well, it's go time. <laughs> It's go time. Alright, we got Timo getting ganked on top side. Paranoia comes down. Boop. Boop. There we go. Another kill for... Well, first kill for Nocturne, actually. No, that's it. But another assist for Darius as well. But yeah, like, it, it's... It, that, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's... This is what's happening a lot. That's actually a pretty good bullet time. At least it's gonna get uh, Nautilus out of danger. But the uh, death sentence missed from Thresher, so they probably weren't too bad. However... That wound up flay auto attack from Thresh there, dude. Oh man, that doing some damage. What's he got? He's got AP as well. All right, okay, fair enough. Like, like one, like uh, 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 you know what I mean? Nautilus has died four times, so it kind of is what it is, truly. He's finally got the plated steel caps, dude. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not sure, like, that is even almost remotely the move, to be honest. Like, even a little bit. I don't know. I I, I need to watch the game. But, like, AP Thresh, you got a Teemo, you got Warwick, you got, like, Vagar. It's, like, all very solid AP source <laughs> damage. And it's, like, better get that. Better get that steel, that plate steel cap, dude. Better get the ninja tabby. Let's go. Right, okay. I'm not quite sure what Warwick's up to. Or Vagar, for that matter. It's all warded. However, not always, like, probably was in... Like, are they gonna die here? <laughs> are they gonna find a way to get hooked? I'm convinced. I'm, I think they are. They are They are looking, they're about to get hooked. Oh my god, he threads the needle between the two of them. Doesn't land on anybody. Um, a bit, bit, um, a bit messy, but you know what? We got him out. The heal? <laughs> the misfortune heal? Let's go. The herald dropping? Let's go. I mean, I feel like, all right, you know, it doesn't matter, dude, whatever. Truly, whatever, dude. They're looking for a dive. They most certainly shouldn't. Whoa, okay. Started the bullet time, immediately canceled it the second she realized that was a bad idea. Okay, that wasn't, I mean, dude, Nocturne just, like, dropped it and then left. It didn't even, like, I don't know. He has Ulti. Didn't just not trust it or something? I don't know. Who was your favorite Iron Specs all time? You know, it's actually hard to, hard to think or remember. Wow, okay. Wow. That was wow. 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 You know what? I was wondering why. I I was right. Holy Christ, dude. I was wondering why Warwick was taking so long to kill these minions. I was like, what is wrong with them, dude? Like, he hasn't leveled up Blood Hunt once. He hasn't put a single point in his W. So like he doesn't benefit from an enemy being half health. But even then, if you're half HP or below, 
and your blood sense ticking, you do heal yourself as well. Right, hold on a minute. We get when we get that in slow motion. Wait, wait, how did that didn't hit? Wait. Explain to me, right? I know that, like, I know that Darius's apprehend is like spaghetti at the best of times, but like, explain to me how this is a mess. Explain to me. How <laughs> Somebody needs to explain to me how this is counted as a mess for Darius Z. This was programmed as a mess for Riot. Somehow. And then he still panic flashes anyway, right? So like, mission successful, I suppose. Ah, oh, poor Timo. He's actually out here, dude. Never mind. <laughs> oh my god! Oh dear, dude! Oh, we hold on, actually. Oh no, Darius, you had it, dude. Come on. See if he just, like, actually hit with the hilt of the Q? That would have been good stuff. Alright, we've got the infinite duress coming down there. I think uh, Electrocute Master has already used his abilities here. Okay, nevertheless. Will Nautilus all in here? They see him. They're going for him. He's been hooked. He's been flayed. He drops the depth charge. This could be good though. They took a little bit longer to kill him than usual. Electrocute is... Oh, there we go. We got bullet time comes down as well. Now we got Misfortune going for the chase. What she got, man? She was auto attacking fast as hell. She got lethal tempo? She does. That's crazy. Is she gonna go for this, though? She's actually backing off. Very smart. Very smart things here. Very smart play. I love to see it. Gale Force has been picked up by uh, Blitzcrank here as well. Five and one. Nine and one bot lane. Very nice to see. I'm impressed, I gotta say. The the point that, like, I, a, a Thresh Blitzcrank bot is so scary that, like, they are actively avoiding going bot. And they've actually got the wave, like, kind of frozen, so, like, they're forcing... Like, maybe a slightly more favorable fight. There are three man collapsing on this, though. I don't know if Nautilus is going to survive long enough to actually participate in this. He didn't even he didn't even get his ultimate off, dude. <laughs> He's just trying to help, dude. And he didn't even get his ulti off, man. I, I, I saw what he was trying to do. What is... What is no... <laughs> Come on, man. Blitzcrank still got Gale Force. Everybody be a bit, bit, a bit spooky, a bit, like, careful. Everybody gotta be careful with this one. Dude, I, yo, I may have to, I may have to play some freaking, uh, I may have to play some Gale Force Blitzcrank mid, dude. I don't know what to say. I'm, it's actually kind of wild, dude. Now, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Alright, Warrior's getting mad collapsed on here. He's gonna have to infinite dress out. So it doesn't matter. Nimbus Coke Flash comes out from that. Strike Breaker down as well for the soul. For the E. Fears him away. I thought that that was okay. I got confused at the teams here. I don't know. I, I thought Thresh was trying to lantern the, the Darius there, but <laughs> didn't quite work that way. Master Yi gets like totally bricked. He's got a bunch of kills as well. What happened there? Highlander down. His Gil Force isn't even up. He's just smacking him, dude. He's just smacking him. Right? Fail Flash comes out there. See, this is where I'm like, I'm not convinced that they're like, actually salt. Whoa! That I'm not convinced that they're like, actual smurfs, dude. But that was actually dirty. That was like, I will admit. That was, okay, right? Okay, dude. All right, maybe they are smart, dude. This is a little, okay, dude. <laughs> okay. Thresh literally flashing to stop his team from stealing the kills here. Like, he earned very much, like he earned hard on that uh, dive. Can't, yeah, I can't tell if they're smurfs or the enemy team doesn't respect it. There's some- sometimes you'll get that, man. You'll be playing against a Thresh, and like, Thresh is one of these champions that like, it's like a mental warfare kind of a champion. Where like, you don't- you might not necessarily think the Thresh is any good, but you're literally just outplaying yourself half the time. Like, you're straight up, just- you- you are the one making all the mistakes. You are getting inside your own head. You're- like, you're like, oh, he's gonna throw the lantern back. He's gonna throw his hook behind me so that I dodge back into it. But if he does that, I should keep running. But maybe he knows that I'm gonna do that. So maybe I should, maybe I should turn back. 
Or maybe I should just keep going straight. Maybe I should stop moving. I don't know. And then you just die. Testo is seven and zero. Yeah, they're definitely in a, they're, they're they're definitely friends. Even stopped for the BM in front of him. Disgusting, man. Iron four gamers, dude. Still got time for BN. Nocturne Paranoia goes down onto that Vagar there. I think he's in some deep doo doo. His uh, Primordial Blast comes out. Dude, they don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage, man. Am I crazy? Like, they had they had, they had, had him. But they just weren't... Like, he didn't drop very fast. Not nearly as fast as I would have expected him to die there. I mean, is this the call? I don't think it is. I'm convinced that this isn't the call to make. What's happening here? There's still... Oh, God. We're about to witness... We're, they're about to witness something horrible here, I reckon. Can they do it? Like, I, I feel like Timo could, like, very easily... Or Warwick, for that matter. Did I, how would how is this a good call? How did they do this? How they are did Blue lacked critical information there, dude. We had TP, dude. Very sad to see. That's a lot of damage from Vagar there, though. If I'm if I'm if I'm right in thinking, my man bought N Navori Quick Blade at level like as as that's his first crit item, by the way. Like he has no crit. This is what they're using their TPs for, dude. I don't think that would ever work in a million years, even if you tried, it. <laughs> He's just going back to lane anyway. He did it for no reason. <laughs> Dude, I don't think that would work, right? There's no way that actually works. There's got no chance. By all means, let me know in the comment section if this goes on YouTube. Whether or not you think these guys are smurfs. Because they have hundreds of games in iron. And it's like, not like pub stomping games. Like, they have a lot of, like, pretty, like, 50-50 games or, like, you know? It's hard to... It's hard to tell. I think I've lost my touch, dude, for real. It's a nice little hook, though. The Blitz is 815 and 87. I think he's a Smurf. Dude, I, I've... We, we've looked at people with worse win rates on the channel so far, and they haven't been Smurfs. I mean, honestly, like, I, I, I'd, be, I'd be very, very happy to hear that these are just... Like, I know this is like a wishful thinking thing, but I'd love it if these guys were just like, hey, we're just like playing it for fun, like doing silly stuff. That would be very wholesome. Um, we like to come up with silly lanes and then play them together, but I don't know if that's the case. But nevertheless, listen, even if they were remotely Smurf-like or Smurf-esque or Smurf-adjacent, dude, some of the stuff Red Team has been doing has just been unbelievable. Like, it actually boggles the brain here for sure. Right now, like Warwick coming in. Doesn't have a whole lot to offer here. He's going to drop, but they're still going to keep... Oh, maybe push their luck. Maybe they're going for it. That's going to be a dead... No. Oh! <laughs> so very close there. Dude, Vagar, I feel like, has been left to do whatever he wants this game. He's got 230 stacks. He's actually doing a lot of damage. And none of the team, nobody on Red State are building anything remotely related to magic resistance. Not a single item. Not like, I mean, they got like a Merc Treads on Nocturne. Okay, we got a little bit of a Negatron Cloak there as well coming out. It's okay, it's kind of spicy. Thresh is like bizarrely tanky. How many souls has he got? 96. Okay, bonus armor, 72. He's got 100 armor and he hasn't bought a, bought a single actual armor item. See, like, this is the Navori Quick Blade build that I can get behind. Man's got the Infinity Edge, the Gale Force, the Vori Quickly, and the Essence Reaver. Dude, he's actually fed as hell, man. He's got a lot of CS. He's done a lot of damage. I never considered, like, how dumb the Vori Quickly could be if you're playing Blitzcrank and you're able to knock people up really regularly. Granted, you're squishy as all hell, but you do have the mana thing. Like, maybe, like, a mana item or something would be, like, fantastic as well. Still, that was Colleen. That was, like, a Queen 4 for 1. That's got to be Baron coming out of that one. Honestly, that, like, there's so much that could be taken from this game now with that Baron on the board. Unless, like, Miss Fortune, like, magically steals it. But I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's going to happen. Unless she has said, like, the dirtiest dub, like, the dirtiest bullet time in 2021. Go on, sweetheart. Go on. Don't shoot over the wall. Is she going to shoot over the wall? Don't shoot over the wall. Don't shoot over the wall. Just sh I'll eat from over it. She's going to she's gonna go over the wall, isn't she? No! There we go. Okay, well, she got... <laughs> She got two kills. Honestly, if she ulted earlier, she probably could have actually left the wall and maybe made, made an attempt at steal. 
Two for, like, I mean, two for that, it's, you know, it's not bad. Misfortune actually back in the game somewhat, doing decent. I think she got, like, shutdown gold there as well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. The, the freebie after after red side get a free back wait was it no was it blue side no blue side actually got the free baron and the free elder somebody gotta get some wards dude i swear to god man we got ward objectives here that's it dude for real so our 36 men is deep in this game and like I'm, I'm wondering if the cracks are gonna begin to show on i like wait the blitz crank build i love it it's great it's fun but also you know you're as strong as you're ever gonna be blitz you're very very squishy there's a high possibility that you're never gonna get any stronger. And like, Thresh is like barreling, he's, he's barreling down on the full build as well. Nocturne coming in with the Paranoia. Managed to get double picked there as well, Teemo and the Vagar. Nocturne's going for it. He's going for it. He comes down. There is no escape. Doesn't take the Lantern. Just runs straight past, I mean, fair enough to be honest. Blitzcrank's coming in though. Hold on a minute. Gale Force is right onto the misfortune. Grabs the Nocturne. He's going for it though. That's one. The paranoia comes down. Oh, the crit! Let's go. <laughs> Alright. How much money is Blitzcrank sitting on? He's got 600 gold surplus. He's already full builded. I did not think that Blitzcrank walking into that fight was a 2v1 scenario, to be honest. Wait, let me, let me wheel up here, because I need to know what happened. What happened that made Mastery give up? Oh, he didn't give up. He was just stunned. I see. <laughs> I just looked at it at the wrong time. <laughs> also, Timo, what is the... What is... It is state of these shrooms, man. I can't tell if he's trying to hit Baron with him because he just keep bouncing off. My God, man. Damn, bitch. You live like this? <laughs> he just needs to kite Baron into shrooms. Right, what he needs to do is get Poppy from 2010 to knock Baron into these shrooms. Oh, would you look at that? This wow, the sweeper. Wow, would you look at that, dude? Kind of unsurprising when you lay your shrooms out like that. That oh, he just put another one down, dude. It, it, to be fair, it's the bait. Oh, maybe it wasn't a good bait. Hold on a minute though. The bullet time comes down. Absolutely freaking dropping that Timo. Warwick's down. Vagar's down. They're in a perfect poised position to be taken. Bar dude, that's a fast Baron as well. To be fair. His misfortune's back in the game, dude. The Vagar is very, very strong. Like, obviously, uh... What? <laughs> obviously, uh, Nocturne keeps on ulting him. Like, they, they know, right? They know to just kind of try and drop that thingy. I guess, like, the bot lane aren't really playing that, uh... That close with their team. They're they're ending the game, boys. You gotta, you gotta back it off here, for sure. The, the Warwick is such a non-issue this game. Warwick ulti straight. What are you doing, dude? Just like get your get your furry in that pet and press that smite button. What are you doing? What is he up to, man? <laughs> what is he doing? It's elder, man. You die for this. You hundred percent. Like man, has he even got smite? Yeah, no smite, master ye. Unbelie- I actually cannot believe I just watched that, dude. Oh, dear. This is actually tragic, man. This is tragic. That's another man down. Hold on, though. Now- Now you go in! Now you go in! Now you go in! We got Gale Force up. Not at least not paying any attack, dude. Just Gale Force- <gasps> There we go. Boom. Not at least just got his own teammate killed. Let's go! Let's go! Brick him! They're blue screening him. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, he's winning that. <laughs> hold on a minute. Oh, that was kind of cool. It's a little bit worried that Elder Dragon would have popped him. He's coming in behind. Blitzcrank coming in behind. A little bit too many minions, maybe. Kind of dangerous. Right, I don't understand. Right, I mean... I respect that play, let me be honest here, but I honestly, also, I do think, homie, I don't think, like, everybody here is, like, iron, between Iron 4 and Bronze 4. I don't think we have the time or the, the, I don't, I don't think we play with this. I think we just end the damn game, get ourselves out of Iron, get ourselves out of Bronze, dog. Like, <laughs> 
Like, I don't think you can afford to be wasting that. Really, all that much. Oh dear. Possible can I collapse? Oh no, Vagar. Oh no, we need you alive, dude. He's got a thousand AP. We need him alive. Oh dear. Vagar is so stacked, man. How many stacks has he actually got so far? 300 stacks, 1,045 AP currently. He is like absolutely ready to brick anybody if he if he is allowed to survive. Right, Blitz and Blitz and Thresh are still bottling, man. Right, there we go. Paranoia comes down onto the Warwick. The E comes out onto the Teemo, get the fear down as well. Teemo Shroom did a little bit of work, but doesn't really- Whoa! Mr. Shroom did a lot of damage there! We're now back in 2v5 situation. 2v5 situation here. Will they be able to defend? I, I think they're trolling, dude, to be honest. I don't really know what's happening. I, I, I'd like to believe- like, I'd like to believe they're trying their hardest, but I don't think it is. Based on the fact that they're just not with their team at any point here. It's a little bit awkward. Teemo has just left the game. He doesn't believe in the, in the magic. Blitzcrank absolutely bricks that Master Yi. Now it's just Blitzcrank on his own. Pulls another one under tower. The mana shield isn't enough though. That's going to be the game. Unfortunate. They're selling all their items. Blitzcrank items gone. Thresh didn't manage to sell. Oh, he sold all his items as well. That's going to be red side taking it, dude. Um, honestly, like... Maybe I bought them, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> Total damage to champions. Blitz okay, yeah. Blitzcrank did 50k damage to champions. Oh my god.